Hi, this is Karen at Snickerdoodle Designs, and today we're going to take a look at how to create a scalloped border. Two weeks ago, we looked at how to align and distribute items in a Photoshop document. Since the writing of that article, several of you have asked me if you could use the Align Distribute tools to create a scalloped border. Well, the answer is yes, but there's a faster, easier way using a brush, and so today let's take a look at how to do it that way. Today I'm using Photoshop Creative Cloud 2015, but this does work in Photoshop Elements exactly the same way. So let's go ahead and start by op opening a blank document. We'll do that by going to File, New, and I will choose a 3600 by 3600 size document. And there's nothing magic about that, just go ahead and choose whatever size you like. You need to go ahead and set your foreground color to the chosen color that you would like. I'm going to go ahead and make this as a template so it doesn't matter what color I choose. I'm just going to choose black because it's easy to uh, see here on the tutorial. Next, go ahead and choose a hard, round brush, the size that you would like your scallops to be. So go ahead and click on your brush tool, click on the down pointing arrow, choose your brush size, and I'm going to go ahead and choose the 100 pixel size brush. We want the hardness set to 100%, so that's as far right as it will go. That's going to give us a nice sharp edge on our scallop. If you don't have your brush panel visible, go to the top menu bar and choose Window and Brush, and that will open that panel for you. Choosing this brush, it should be set at 1%. It was set at different because I that's the last uh, setting I had used for it. It will not automatically go back to one. You have to reset that at one once you choose another size. So let's go ahead and pretend like that was at one percent. There are two panels up or two tabs at the top of the brush panel. One is brush and one is presets. We want to be on the brush tab and that is where we will see the spacing. We want our spacing to be 100 percent. You can highlight it and type it in, or you can move the slider if you like. I just find it easier to type it in. Go ahead and click on my layer and close that panel. I would like to make sure this is a straight line, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this down. This is just a guideline. And now once we, again, I always just make sure I'm on the right layer and I am. Go ahead and stamp down your um, circle, release your mouse, hold down the shift key, and then come over here and stamp again. And what that is going to do by holding down the shift key is constrain that line so it's straight. And I just pull the guide down so I can kind of eyeball exactly where I want to stamp this last circle. You can hold control H to hide that guideline now. You can just drag it back up into place if you like. Now we have our scalloped edge here. We could go ahead and use it like that, but I like to add a rectangular border just because it's a little easier to grab. And sometimes I might like to have a nice edge on that border. Go ahead and click a blank layer, make a new blank layer. This time I'm going to grab the rectangular tool and just draw out a rectangle about the size that I want. And that looks about right. I can hit Alt Backspace to fill that with my foreground color. Or you can come up to Edit Fill if you like as well. Control D will deselect that now. And now by using the up, up arrow on my keyboard, after I select the Move tool, click here or use the Control shortcut. V, as in Victor, on your keyboard. Just nudge that into place, wherever you would like it to be. And I think that looks pretty good. If you right click on one of the layers and choose Merge Visible or Merge Down, either one, now we're going to merge those into one layer and we have a border that we can save as a template and use over and over again. Make sure you go ahead and trim your image 
to get away the transparency, the extra transparency, and that's going to lower your file size. In Photoshop, I usually just do image trim, transparent pixels, and now I will want to save this as a PNG file to maintain that transparency and allow me to use it again. Go ahead and change your brush size to whatever you want. If you want bigger scallops, obviously you're going to use a bigger brush. You can try that with different shapes as well. And you could probably come up with some really interesting borders all on your own. So I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next week.